So how are you guys holding up the past 10 months? It's been tough, I know, right? But supposedly there's a vaccine that's coming out. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. This video, we're gonna talk about the five things DJ should be doing during quarantine. Yo guys, welcome back to the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, if you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe down below. And while you're there, please hit that like button. Here are five tips that DJ should be doing during quarantine or should have done already during this time. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I recommend you guys to do is to organize your music folders. I'm guilty of this and uh, yeah, I have a really, really tough time organizing music and putting them in the right place, but um, I finally got to do it, finally had time. We've had 10 months, right? We still have a lot of time, so it's not too late to do it. Yeah! It's an ongoing battle for us DJs. Um, it's, it's something that we always are, are doing because there's always new music coming out, right? So we have to organize our crates so we can find things easier when we are DJing, right? It makes our lives easier. We don't have a uh, computer screen face, so we're not watching the computer all the time and trying to figure out what we're gonna play. If everything's nice and organized, it'll be easier to find so you can rock the crowd and, and interact with the crowd. And what I've been doing the past couple of months is listening to new music, new genres of music, different types of music that you didn't listen to before, expanding my library and knowledge of music. It just makes you a better DJ that way. Yeah, yeah. You can do that. Yeah, organizing your music and listening to music, I think is key for times like these. Tip number two, take your time to clean your equipment. Right? Sometimes we're DJing outside in the elements. It's dusty, uh, smoky, sometimes uh, a drink gets spilled, there's smudges, handprints, and it's grimy. Actually, I cleaned my equipment just the other day and I didn't realize how dirty it was. So, Ew, yeah, bruh. into cleaning your equipment so it looks presentable, right? And uh, it keeps up the, the value of your equipment too if you keep it nice and clean and you're taking care of it. Right? It's your investment. You want it to last a lot longer. So All right. make sure it's nice and clean. Another thing, the third tip I um, suggest you guys doing in terms of equipment again, is you can sell your old gear, right? Um, stuff that's uh, just lying around. Like if you have a controller that's collecting dust or extra speaker stands, extra lights, lighting, or, or any other stuff that's that's not being used and you you know that you're not going to use it anymore might as well sell it right make a few bucks here and there um, and maybe you can use that money towards an upgrade or whatever uh, it's hard times right now so you can use that for bills or whatever right so it just makes sense to downsize a little bit and uh, get rid of your gear Why not, might as well make make some money off of it right tip number four Four, um, and I suggested this before in another video, actually this video up here, um, that you should be on your social media sites and just promoting and marketing yourself as much as you can still, right? So when you do get back out there DJing, everybody knows that you're relevant. So um, go post on Facebook, um, Instagram, post new pictures, post quotes, post like funny DJ uh, quotes, whatever. Uh, maximize your website, all your marketing. If you're on Wedding Wire, add new pictures. There's so much stuff you could be doing uh, online to just grow your presence and just make sure that you're doing stuff, right? Do some live streams. Do YouTube, right? There's so much things you can be doing uh, just to maximize your online presence. So when we do get back out there, you're ready, right? So the last and final tip that I'm suggesting you guys to do is to uh, improve yourselves as DJs. So whether it be uh, mixing, transitions, 
uh, scratching your skills, just improving your skills, um, even the business side. Right? So improving yourself so when we do get back out there, we, we're representing, we're good to go, right? And we're ready. We're not just the same old DJ. We're a better version of ourselves, right? Yeah! So, because think about this. People have been uh, stuck in the house for like over a year, a year or more, and people are ready to party, to while out. So make sure you're ready because People are gonna be dancing up storms. It's gonna be crazy when we get back to gigs. All so right! Improve yourself, be a better version of yourself, make sure you're practicing everything, make sure you're a better DJ when we get out there, all right? So guys, those are my five tips for what you guys should be doing during quarantine. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if I overlooked anything what are you guys been doing during quarantine, right? Okay, so if you guys like this video and you got something from it, please give it a big, big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, right? A lot more videos coming at you. We'll see you in the next video, guys. This is DJ9 signing off. Hoo-yah!